Hi, good morning. Al Ingalls here at pressure-free.com and I realize I better turn this around or it will look backwards, so bear with me as I switch that up, if this will let me. Good morning, Facebook. Let's wake up. <laughs> there we go. Now we're actually the right way. Yeah, that looks better. <laughs> So good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm remembering teachers this morning, and I would love to know from you who are teachers who have made an impact in your life. Um, you know, it's incredible what we will learn from coaches, from teachers, and um, I have to go way back. I had a couple violin teachers before I got a really amazing violin teacher. Her name was Nancy Cole, and um, gosh, she just poured so much life into me. She taught me so much about this here. I wouldn't have this violin if it weren't for her. Um, this is my oldest friend, so <laughs> one of my oldest friends anyway. Um, you know, when everybody else was into Queen and, uh, and, and doing all that, who was my hero? My hero was actually uh, Eugene Fodor. So if you, have, if you don't know who that is, please look him up. He was one of the most amazing American violinists, but he also fell into major addiction. So, um, in, I think it was 1978, he, he was the highest American had ever come in the Tchaikovsky Violin Competition. And um, he was the cowboy from Colorado. <laughs> so, all my Colorado friends, he was the cowboy from Colorado. And I just um, thought he was amazing. And um, I never knew that I would get a chance to not only meet him, but get a lesson with him. And um, I had amazing teachers at the University of Michigan, Paul Makinovitsky, Jacob Krokmalnik. Um, I worked with Gustav Rosils for a summer and then Elizabeth Holborn for a summer um, at Interlochen. But boy, oh boy, um, when I got that lesson with Eugene Fodor, <laughs> if you've ever met him, he is not easy. <laughs> He's not an easy person. Um, but when I picked him up from the airport, because he was coming to Battle Creek, Michigan to play as a part of our 100th anniversary here with the oldest symphony in Michigan. So I picked him up at the airport and we instantly connected. It was just like an instant connection. And so um, we had a whole lot of events and he came over to my house, our house, and because um, I had to show him something. He was a student of Yasha Heifetz. So there's another violinist you can look up, Yasha Heifetz. I had a portrait that Nancy Cole, my teacher, gave me an actual large photograph of Yasha Heifetz when he was 16. It's hung on my wall since I was in seventh grade. She gave it to me as a present in seventh grade. And um, my husband didn't really like it, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, it's kind of dreary. It's, it's black and white, and it's in this big wooden frame. And we were redoing our living room, and so, um, at a recital that Eugene played for us, I gave him the high fits. <laughs> I just gave it to him. And he just couldn't believe it. And, um, and I also got a private lesson with him. And the first thing he said, as I drew my bow across the strings, I can't remember what, what I was playing, but I, it may have been this. So I drew my bow across the strings and he stopped me immediately. <laughs> He goes, Makinovitsky would be horrified at that sound. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so for those of you who are, who've never like gone deep into music or sports, you get so much criticism. I mean, like every note you play is not good enough. You're constantly perfecting. You're constantly fixing. <laughs> and he just let me have it that day in that lesson. <laughs> and I was grateful. Because, you know, I've just been playing along for many years. And so as an adult, it was a chance to grow and take it to the next level. So um, this story continues a little bit. So uh, I went up to see him perform a rehearsal at another symphony. And um, uh, I came backstage to, like, surprise him. He didn't know I was there. And he had someone in his dressing room with me, with him. And when I walked in, he goes, this woman is an angel. He called me an angel, and he just said, there's just something about you. And that's something, a quality I bring to my coaching. Like, I seriously want to tap in to help you, like an angel would. So, and I do that with my teaching, too. I want to be an angel for my, for my students so that they grow and they don't feel um, tightness, but they really expand and explore who they really are. So... Um, 
So we kept up a, a connection, and um, Eugene Fodor and I, and um, I wish I could have helped him more. I mean, he had some issues, and, and it, was, it was hard to see. He, um, he really did a lot of drugs, and it really messed up here. And it's all public, so you can read about it, um, because he's a very public figure, especially in the classical music world. But I try to take the best from people. So even there, there was this other stuff. Um, I took the best from him, and, um, and it helped me grow as a person. So I have been writing a, um, a cadenza for the Mozart A, ma a major concerto, and um, I gave it to him as a gift, which was really cool. Um, I don't know. I, actually, I'm going to put it down below. I actually took a video of it this morning. It's decent. You know, it's not great. I don't play a whole lot anymore. I just teach a little bit because I'm totally doing pressure free. But um, I really. Uh, want to share it with you because I actually gave it to him as a gift. I don't know if he ever performed it because he didn't do a whole lot of performing after I saw him. But, um, you know, giving a gift back to a teacher is an incredible thing. I've done it on several occasions with my teachers. And a gift can even just be a conversation of thanks. But for one of my teachers, one of my conducting teachers, um, I actually wrote, took this huge piece of paper, it was a beautiful piece of paper, and covered it with what I was grateful for for him. So what teachers have made an impact in your life and who, who would it be nice to you know, reach out, reach out to a teacher and thank them for something they have done for you? Um, teachers don't, don't get that a lot. <laughs> My teachers who I've done to, they're like amazed that I took the time to, to do it, either a gift or a thank you or something like that. So um, just a little thought this morning on teachers. I hope you liked it, and I'll pop my video down below. So have a great day. Bye.